Pupil Screen is a smartphone app under development at the University of Washington that objectively screens athletes and others who may be suffering from concussion. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control estimates that roughly 3.8 million sports-related concussions occur per year in the United States alone. About half of those cases go undiagnosed, putting millions of people at risk for long-term, possibly permanent, damage. Clinicians have long struggled to find an objective way to diagnose concussion. Most athletes are assessed using a variety of subjective tests that are known to be unreliable. Many will also undergo CT scans that expose them to radiation. Pupil Screen is the first system able to assess an athlete using an objective measure of concussion on the sidelines. This measure is called the pupillary light reflex, or the automatic response that controls how much light a person's eyes take in. Recently, this reflex has been shown to be an indicator of concussion. When a person suffers a concussion, the reflex can be diminished or disappear altogether. Youth football teams often can't have a trained clinician on site. This means critical health care decisions must be left to a volunteer coach or parent without proper training or tools. The wrong conclusion could allow a concussed athlete back onto the field, making them six times more likely to suffer an additional concussion and putting them at 15% increased risk of permanent cognitive deficits. Pupil Screen will make sports safer by empowering anyone, anywhere to get an objective assessment of a person at risk of having suffered a concussion or severe traumatic brain injury. Pupil Screen uses the smartphone's flash to stimulate an athlete's eyes while the camera records the response. Using convolutional neural networks, pupil screen measures the size of the pupil in each frame. That data is aggregated to produce a curve that shows how the pupils change in size over time. Pupil screen can currently be used to detect instances of severe traumatic brain injury, and a broader clinical study this fall will help us gather more data about which pupil response characteristics are relevant in detecting milder concussions. The original pupil screen system uses a 3D printed box that controls the placement of the smartphone relative to the eyes. This approach makes pupil screen repeatable and precise, like a clinical device. We are currently developing a newer iteration of pupil screen that only requires a smartphone so that the test is as easy to conduct as a pen light exam. In a pilot study conducted at Harborview Medical Center, our pupil screen prototype was one and a half times more precise than a clinician conducting a pen light exam when estimating pupil size. With more data, pupil screen's accuracy will only improve. We hope to make the pupil screen app available to the public within two years. Pupil screen will revolutionize the way that concussions are diagnosed, giving anyone with a smartphone the ability to safeguard athletes from the risk of long-term damage due to repeated traumatic brain injury.